let's talk housing. All right, the first question goes to Madhu. Um, Madhu, in terms of timing of the search, is now too early or too late to start house hunting? I, was I mean, saying, most of the students will be coming for the fall 21 semester. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I would say fairly May, uh, beginning of May is a good time to start your search. It's definitely not late. Um, given the current situation, I it it might be a tad early because we don't know about the embassy situation. So it, it's definitely not late. Now's the time to do all your due diligence, do the research, look up all of the apartments, explore your options, shortlist them, try to reach out to seniors to get some background on specific apartments and make your list and target sending out applications to these apartments by end of this month or even mid this month should be okay for some of the popular places. So you're definitely, definitely not late if you're starting out now. Ayush, are there areas to avoid while searching for a house um, near USC? Correct. Great question. So whenever we are looking for any house, right, first thing we have to make sure that it is within the DPS boundary. If people don't know what is the DPS boundary, I will share the link on the chat after the conversation. So just make sure that it is within the DPS boundary and it is as close to the campus as possible. Because the moment you go away from the campus towards the boundaries, we have seen some crimes happening in the last few months. So just try to avoid the boundaries and stay as close to campus as possible. Uh, which part of uh, housing side is safer for students? Is it the north side or the south, the east or the west? Uh, so I would think the boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, mostly I've seen people staying towards the north of the campus because if you see the boundary, it is mainly spread towards the north side. I mean, Madhu can cut me over there, but she has stayed here for two years. Yeah. Madhu, you want to jump in? Hey, yeah, I think I think that makes sense. So you would want to come to the side of Hoover, Jefferson, uh, Figueroa, some of the streets on that side, because that's where the DPS boundary uh, extends. On the other side, you have Exposition Boulevard, and I don't think you want to venture past that. Um, so do I, I think it was it was great what Ayush mentioned to stay within the boundary. You might want to check out where your apartment comes with respect to the boundary and uh, do avoid staying really far from campus. It might seem okay to sit here and think three miles is okay and you might just like ride up to the place, but uh, it, it's not it's it, it it doesn't work out very well that way. You might have some long nights you want to pull off at the library. So staying very close to campus is definitely very, very much safer. Okay. Um, how is security at USC in and around the campus housing? Yeah, I think this is a great question. So I like this question also because USC does a lot to ensure student uh, safety, uh, especially within the DPS area. So uh, DPS is the Department of Public Safety. And um, uh, so the LA Police Department, they um, team up with USC to make sure that certain streets are manned and they do 24-7 um, uh, DPS patrol around the area to make sure they catch incidents and, and like reduce the crime rate. So I just have a couple of things that uh, noted down that I want to sort of go over. Um, yeah, so the one, one thing is the free tram, tram service that uh, university provides. So uh, trams shuttle around the area almost throughout the day. Um, I think it stops around 2, 2.30 a.m. Uh, but otherwise, it's almost always plying. So even if you have to go to campus, even, even in the morning, you have trams which ply almost every half an hour or every 15 minutes. And there are apps to actually check the where the tram is at any point. Um, then the, the great part about uh, this, the next one, is uh, lift rides. So uh, USC uh, teams up with Lyft to provide free rides um, and this starts in the evening times. I think you might want to check out the website for this. So it's different in the fall and the spring, the exact time when it starts. But within a, with, within the uh, DPS area, like within within a one 1.5 mile radius, you have free Lyft rides available. So you can always avail this from any point in campus to your uh, apartment if it is within the area. So besides lift rides, you also have campus cruisers, and these are run by USC itself. Uh, this is another great service to avail. As I mentioned, there is also DPS patrol. 
So this is a bunch of police, uh, equipped police officers who literally patrol the area, making sure there's there's nothing amiss. Um, and there are campus ambassadors or uh, yellow jackets who man several of the streets. And this is mostly in the evenings. Uh, so even if you're walking back alone, if you see something which uh, catches you off guard, you can always signal out to them. And that's very helpful. There's also a live safe app, which you might want to download and, and keep um, uh, at easy access because uh, this, this is, this is your SOS. You can reach out to people if something goes wrong at any point and, uh, you will be taken care of. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I mean, Madhu has shared so many information, so much information. Don't be overwhelmed. So after you come here, you will have an orientation, right? So again, you will get all the links and information on that session. And uh, I have shared the DPS link, the lift boundary, lift uh, information over here. Because of COVID, uh, the campus uh, procedure is no longer active. It should be active once the campus is open. The only change that has happened is lift is open 24 hours now. Not 24 hours, from morning 7 to night 1 o'clock right now. Only during the COVID period. So a few changes over there. Okay. So moving on, which is better off this off campus housing and there's on campus housing. So in your opinion, um, which one is better? Ayush, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So in USC for on campus, you have to do an application. And if you get a shortlisted, then you have a place to stay. And what I have seen personally, they are generally a bit higher on rent. It is not 100% true, but there are few places which are lower on rent. Chances of you getting the place is a bit less. Versus if you go for off campus, you get a better rent. And again, it is closer to campus as well, so no problem in that. USC has made sure we have security measures. So I would personally prefer off campus housing. Why would you prefer off campus housing, Ayush? Is it only um, the cost first, or any other reason? First is the cost, and second is the chances of finding an off campus house is far better than on campus house. On campus housing is mostly meant for undergraduate students, so there is limited amount of graduate uh, um, housing on campus, and you do need to apply for that ahead of time. Madhu, you want to add something to that? Yeah, yeah, actually I do. I think uh, at the time that I left, I was not really aware of this option. So that was something I thought I missed out on. I personally thought that the uh, not not really the on campus housing per se, but the university housing options, which were uh, houses outside of USC campus, but sort of partnering with USC and and kind of referred to as on campus housing. So I thought some of these options were were pretty good, um, both feasible as well as um, came with a lot of uh, good amenities. What I like about uh, um, on campus housing is two things. One is the uh, excellent maintenance services and the second one is the safety. So I think you might want to look at all of the floor plans that are uh, offered by on campus housing. So if anything falls under your uh, budget um, uh, constraints, then it, it is worth a shot to apply. So if you treat that similar to your off campus applications, it's not a bad idea to wait it out to see what happens. I'm not sure uh, exactly what the timeline is of when USC gets back to you about whether or not you have secured a spot in um, on campus housing, but uh, but I find that the security and the maintenance are great. And the uh, the one other thing is that most of them are uh, furnished as well as uh, uh, I think amenities are provided for. So by the time you get there, Wi-Fi, electricity, um, trash, gas, everything is sort of taken care of. So that that might uh, be a little bit more conducive. Um, I personally stayed in an off campus apartment and the setup worked out okay for me because we were a group of people who went together and we managed to set up fine. Um, but but this is definitely a thing to look into. Okay. So you started off Ayush in your first semester living off campus, right? Yeah. So, all right. So just to summarize uh, this segment, um, the on campus housing um, can be slightly more expensive than off campus. Um, some they are better maintained in many cases, uh, but the amount of housing is very limited, so you'll have to apply very early. Uh, chances, uh, if you apply late of getting it, are slim. 
Um, so if you have uh, the ability, you can go ahead and apply quickly um, and it might cost a little bit more than off campus housing. All right.